Hey guys, welcome back to another video and in today's video I'll actually be kind of redoing uh, the tutorial video for the uh, community patch because the community patch first video was kind of a mess and it's it's majorly outdated and it's it's been a while, you know, it's been seven months and the video is 54 minutes and the tutorial is only 10 to 14 minutes and the tutorial now might be even two minutes uh there's there's not much that you have to do now hexiting is not really required there are actually tools that do it for you and i have two tools for you the main one is uh the filter tool now what you want to do is you want to go to your binaries uh in your borderlands folder uh, it goes like this steam steam apps common borderlands 2 and binaries yes it's right here so uh, once you get it, uh, you have to download it from from the link des uh, description. Now I downloaded uh, all the files that are in the thing, uh, and it's in the top right. And then you'll get uh, these files. Now you have to have Java installed. Uh, that is required. And yeah, uh, once once you have that, just run the filter tool, and it'll prompt you with this message uh, if it's in the first time. So. Uh, you, you can read it if you want. It just tells you that you, it can be used for uh, if you if you kind of have to exit it, and it just tells you what to do. Uh, it's being super new new friendly, and then yeah, uh, it'll ask you what kind of key do you want uh, the the console key to be hex edit Borderlands two pre sequel and console key for for that now. Uh, I already have my thing hex edited, so this one effect, and it's on my second screen. So, uh, if that doesn't work, then then yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, set up tools and automatically hex edit files. If that doesn't work, because it'll automatically hex edit your Borderlands once you boot it up for the first time. Now, uh, so you can just do that, and yeah, this, the filter tool is basically what you can use to enable some features of the community patch. Uh, you guys probably already know that. And yeah, uh, some some awesome stuff. Now, the second thing is, there's the multi-tool, and uh, it, it basically does the same thing as uh, the filter tool, but I don't, know, I don't know if it requires Java or not. Uh, that's right here. Now, yeah, you have to select the path. Now, I think this has to be in your Win32. Uh, this is where it has to be. But you can di uh, direct it to be there. Now, this is used for... Uh, uh, where is it? I think it's over here. That's yeah, right here. So... Yeah, a second. It should be it. Yeah, this I, th I think this is your Borderlands uh, .exe. Yeah, okay, there you go. So you have to basically uh, tell it where your Borderlands 2.exe is, and it can hex it for you, and it can also do a few other things. Uh, set up your max radio, max money, and everything. You can go beyond that, and you can set your maximum level and backpack space and array limit and sanity checks if you want. So it's some awesome stuff. So basically you have tools that will do it for you. Uh, you have the filter tool, which uh, by the way, you can use it to add mods as well, which is uh, pretty neat. I'll link the original video if I'm not doing a good job of explaining all of this. Uh, but yeah, basically this is how you install the community patch. You don't have to download the thing. You don't have to go through the nightmare that is hex editing. It's just there are tools that will do it for you. So yeah, I'll, uh, I'm just gonna link that to the original video. Uh, if you came here from the original video, yeah, just use this. Uh, it'll work absolutely 100% of the times. And yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video and I'll see you guys in the next video.